Hey everybody, this is Edward. I'm here with a new video, and this is a video of my homemade indoor water water filter system. Uh, I didn't buy a Berkey. I thought it'd be more, I guess, more crafty to build one of my own. Uh, you see here, these are two five-gallon buckets that I've gotten from, uh, I believe it's from Lowe's. Also got the tops for them as well, two tops. Got a spigot online. I got it on Amazon.com. On the inside, I got this type of filter. You can see that logo. It's called Dalton. And they're ceramic candle filters. Uh, they're used as replacement filters. So when, if you have a Berkey, you can replace your filters that ever get damaged. Let's take, the, let's take a look on the inside. That's uh, that funnel I use for all the all the bottles I have down there. I'll show you the inside. Right now I have some water in there. Uh, if you see some of that I guess like like the uh, black specks. It's actually lint. That wasn't from. I was. I was actually inside some of the storage water I had from before. I had. The, I had some water in storage for uh, about over a year, and decided I was going to filter all of it and change the containers out for a thicker plastic. I used to use uh, milk jug containers, but I learned that those are too thin walled. They were weak. I had one actually crack inside my closet, and uh, it. Both the it both the wood inside the closet, so you know I had to change out the entire shelf because I was using you know weak walled plastic for storing water. But this one, uh, this filter system is actually pretty cool. Uh, it takes about I'd say maybe three days to filter out all five. I mean, from my experience, it takes about maybe three or about two and a half days to, to filter out, you know, keep filtering out all this water. But it's gravity fed, so if you want it to work faster, you gotta keep topping it off towards the top with water. Uh, I thought about putting an incremental, uh, incremental scale on the inside of this on the inside of this uh, top part. But I decided, you know, it's it's cool the way it is. Um, I can just keep checking it every day. Those are the two ceramic filters on the inside. Uh, they're the seven inch uh, filters. They make them in uh, seven, eight, and ten inch. Uh, I only have two filters in this one. Uh, someday I hope to make another one of these. I may put maybe four filters. Uh, the thing is, if the more filters you have, the faster you can filter our water. And uh, that's where the water comes out. Let's see, if I had a cup right now, I'd show you. you know, I'd, drink some, I'd probably drink some of the water. I don't have one at hand. But uh, I'll show you some of the water I filtered out. If you see the date, uh, one thing I do is. Um, when I when I do uh, store water, I do date it so that I know how long it's been there. See, this one was uh, it's two days uh, before this one, and it's some more that I filtered out uh, on the fourth of January. And I got these two, I got these empty containers, uh, and I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna fill up with water soon. I found that I found the I find these if you can't get you know like the blue containers, these seem to work real well. Um, they're pretty thick. Uh, this Tropicana orange juice uh, also are good options, as well as simply orange uh, orange juice containers. But you know, you just need to store water. Um, you know, like maybe not. I like to have like five gallon tanks, but until I get to that point, I'm going to utilize what I have right now, and these work real well. And yep, this is my water filter. Cost me about eighty bucks to make. Wasn't too difficult. Um, the only thing that, um, the supplies you will need you, need, you will need an electric drill, and I'd say maybe about a five eighths inch uh, drill bit in order to drill in order to drill the holes for the filters to fit inside the tops, and fit inside the top. Well, you gotta go through the bucket. The filters have to go through the bucket, and I have mine. Uh, they they go through the bucket and mate with the top, and then I have I have the I have this I have the bolts. Screwed in, I have, have them bolted onto the onto this top um, onto this top part of the bucket, so that when I lift this up, it uh, you know, it, it can just it can just lift this entire top up with along with the top along with this top bucket. On top of that, you want to make sure that you get a have a, have a good drill bit to you know drill a good size hole. This one's about a, maybe an inch and a half wide for this for the spigot. Um, what I did was after I drilled the hole, I got some sandpaper 
and I smooth it out because you know what? Because if you get because the gasket have to, the gasket seal has to be real good. You don't want any water to leak out from the sides. So it's always good to have sandpaper sand the inside and outside. Um, on the inside, of, you know, on the inside bucket and outside where you're gonna put the where, where the gasket's gonna go, and then you uh, then you, you know secure it on real tight. But yep, we got we gotta just spin out some water and don't get this wet. The spigot, I, the spigot I got is, you know, is real simple. One you find like in the water cooler uh, at work, or like for a or for a cooler that you know that you take to sporting events. But it works real well. I haven't had problems with leakage. But, uh, like I said, I spent maybe about eighty dollars building the whole thing. Uh, I hope to build another one this year. Uh, just maybe to keep in the kitchen. This one stays in my room. And I figured it'll be a bad place to keep it. But yep. That's my uh, that's my water purification system. Yeah, I'm Edward Jones, and thank you for watching my video.